Chevrolet C, K second generation, 1967 to 1972. A new, more modern look came for 1967, along with a new nickname, Action Line. It was with this revision of the C, K truck that General Motors began to add comfort and convenience items to a vehicle line that had previously been for work purposes alone. The majority of 10 series and some 20 series Chevrolet trucks from 1966 to 1972 were equipped with a coil spring trailing arm rear suspension, which greatly improved the ride over traditional leaf springs. However, the leaf spring rear suspension was still available on those trucks, and standard on 30 series trucks. GMC branded trucks came standard with leaf springs in the rear, with the coil spring, trailing arm design optional. All two-wheel drive trucks came with independent front suspension, while 4x4s used a conventional solid axle with leaf springs. 1967 was the only model year for the small rear window, RP0810 offered a large rear window as a factory option 8. The standard drivetrain was a 3-speed manual transmission and one of two engines, the 250 and 3 straight 6 or the 283 cubic inches, 4.6 liters. V8. Optional transmissions included a 3-speed overdrive unit, C10 only, and several different 4-speed manuals, the Power Glide 2-speed automatic, or the Turbo Hydromatic 350 and 403-speed automatic. The 292 6 and the 327 and 3 V8 were optional engines. 10 series trucks came with a 6x5.5 inch bolt pattern. The 3 fourths and 1 ton trucks came with an 8 by 6.5 inch bolt pattern. The most visible change in differentiating a 1968 from 1967 models was the addition of side marker reflectors on all fenders. Also, the small rear window cap was no longer available, the C40 and C60 medium duty trucks retained the small window. The GMC grille was revised with the letters GMC no longer embossed in the horizontal crossbar. Another addition was the custom comfort and convenience interior package that fell between the standard cab and CST cab options. In 1968, Chevrolet celebrated 50 years of manufacturing trucks, and to commemorate, they released a 50th anniversary package featuring an exclusive white gold white paint scheme. Also in 1968, the 307 and 396 SID V8s were added as well as the Longhorn model on March 4 ton trucks. Featuring a 133-inch wheelbase, the Longhorn added an extra 6 inches 15 centimeters, to the bed. Longhorns were only two-wheel drive, no factory Longhorn 4x4 was built. The 327 CI V8 engine 220 240 gross HP and 678 was dropped in 1969 in favor of the 350 SID variant traded at 255 gross HP, 200 net HP or 195 net HP with AIR smog equipment. Along with the new engines came a new grille design for Chevrolet trucks and a more upright hood for both Chevrolet and GMC trucks. A utility variant, known as the K5 Blazer, was also introduced with a shorter wheelbase of 104 inches, 2,642 mm. The GMC version, known as the Jimmy, was introduced the same year. Some internal cab changes were also made, most notably the switch from a hand-operated parking brake to a foot pedal, and a more modern-looking two-spoke steering wheel with plastic horn button replaced the previous year's three-spoke wheel with chrome horn button. Also new this year were upper and lower side moldings, which added another two-tone paint option. These were standard on CST trucks, and optional in any other trim level. The Sierra and Sierra Grand Option packages were also added for GMCs, these were to become discrete trim levels in 1972. The only noticeable change for 1970 was a minor update to the Chevrolet grille. At first glance, the 1969 and 1970 grills look very similar. However, the 1970s plastic inserts actually have highlights that divide the appearance into six separate sections. The 396, while still sold as such, was enlarged to 402 cubic inches starting in 1970. Numerous changes occurred in 1971. 
first came another new grill design, the egg crate, for Chevrolet trucks and black paint over portions of the GMC grill. Second, an additional trim package was introduced, the Cheyenne. On GMC models, this was equivalent to the Sierra. These packages consisted mostly of comfort features, nicer interiors, more padding and insulation, carpet, chrome trim, and upper and lower side molding and tailgate trim. 1971 was the first year for AM-FM radios factory installed. Finally, the front brakes on all light-duty trucks were switched from drum brakes to disc brakes, resulting in much less brake fade under heavy use. While prior C, K half-ton trucks had used a 6-slug bolt pattern, 6x5.5, for the wheels, two-wheel drive models switched to a 5-lug pattern, 5x5-inch bolt circle, common to Buick. Oldsmobile, Pontiac, and Cadillac passenger cars. The one-half-ton 4x4 retained the six-slug bolt pattern. This bolt pattern would remain the standard through the end of the C, K series, along with the Chevrolet, GMC vans. The 20 and 30 series trucks had the 8x6.5 inches pattern. Also, Chevrolet changed the 396 V8 emblem designation to 400 V8. The 1972 models were very similar to the 1971 models, with the only change being the rear view mirror was glued to the windshield rather than bolted to top of the cab, and metal or vinyl covered flat door panels were no longer available. All trim level door panels were molded plastic with integral armrests and wood grain inserts on Cheyenne and Sierra trim levels. For restoration, it should also be noted that the door and window cranks were slightly longer due to the molded plastic door panels, and the vent windows were now secured with a single screw on the inside of the door, thus differentiating it from the 1971 model year. The trim levels were rearranged on GMCs, with the Custom now being the lowest level, the Deluxe being dropped, and the Sierra and Sierra Grand becoming separate trim levels at the top of the lineup rather than option packages as before.